Welcome to the discussion. We are looking at Form 1, Term 2, Examination, Biology. And we are going straight to question number 1. Question number 1 reads, State the name given to the study of insects. The study of insects is known as entomology. Then we have classification of living organisms. The study of classification is known as taxonomy. Taxonomy. We move to question number two. Question number two. Name the products of complete hydrolysis of sucrose. Remember sucrose is a disaccharide. When we hydrolyze sucrose, we get glucose. You get glucose and fructose glucose and fructose are simple carbohydrates known as monosaccharides b part of the question reads what happens to the products named in a above when they are in excess in the human body so we can say number one is that they are oxidized oxidized in cells to release energy then of course number two they are converted converted by liver cells into glycogen into glycogen and of course stored remember glycogen is stored food in animals question number three state the roles of light in the plant nutrition remember nutrition is a process through which living things acquire food and we know plants make their own food and therefore light number one is used for photosynthesis 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 to provide hydrogen atoms hydrogen atoms required required in a dark stage and of course we can also use some of the light energy to make to synthesize used to synthesize used to synthesize what we call a uh, ATP this is an energy molecule required required in dark stage of photosynthesis then b give a reason why glucose formed at the end of photosynthesis is converted at once to starch remember starch is stored food in plants and therefore one of the reasons why this is done it is because starch is insoluble starch is insoluble we can also say it is actually osmotically inactive osmotically inactive hence hence does not affect Hence, does not affect the osmotic pressure. Osmotic pressure of cells or simply plant cells. We move to question number four. Question number four: State the formula for calculating linear magnification for a specimen when using a hand lens. And this is very simple. We say magnification. 
is given by we have length of the drawing length of the drawing also known as the image we divide by the length of the specimen length of the specimen or simply what we call an object remember you can only score if you write magnification in full and not as mg b give one functional advantage of the use of the following microscopes one light microscope the advantage is that it can be used in studying also in viewing viewing live specimen then the advantage of using an electron microscope is because number one has high power of resolution we can also say has high magnification power magnification power question number five an investigation was set up as shown in the diagram below we have the glass rod into which the visking tubing is tied inside the visking tubing we have the touch suspension and of course outside that is in the beaker we have iodine solution the aim of this experiment is actually to investigate the process of diffusion let us look at uh, the question that is there After 30 minutes, starch suspension had turned blue-black, while iodine solution retained its color. Name the physiological process that was being investigated. The physiological process is actually diffusion. And a not osmosis. Then account for the results obtained after 30 minutes. One is that the whisking tubing, whisking tubing is semi permeable. Is semi permeable. That means it allows allowing the small. allowing the smaller molecules the smaller molecules of iodine to pass across to pass across to starch suspension to starch suspension That is number one. Whereas, or we can say while the larger molecules of starch, while the larger starch molecules, while the larger starch molecules are not allowed to pass across pass across to the iodine solution to pass across to the iodine solution question number six define the term osmosis we know osmosis is the movement of water molecules is the movement of water molecules 
the movement of water molecules from a region from a region of high water concentration of high water concentration to a region to a region of low water concentration to a region of low water concentration across across a semi permeable membrane question number seven it's on dentition distinguish between homodons and pterodons we know homodons possess the same you can say the same type can also say kind kind of seed for example a rat while heterodons possess possess different types different types or what you can call kinds of teeth we go to part b of the question part b of the question a certain mammal has no incisors no canines six premolars and six molars in the upper jaw so we know we have all the four types of teeth that is incisors canines premolars and molars so we we are required to write down the dental formula of this mammal we have been told we have incisors or incisors we have uh, canines we have premolars we also have molars we have been told that uh, a certain mammal has no incisors that means incisors is zero then no canines canines is zero six premolars so you take six you divide by two you get three and the six molars six divided by three you get three so that is in the upper jaw in the lower jaw there are six incisors so you take six divided by two you get three two canines divided by two you get one and then we have six premolars divided by two you get three and six molars you divide by two you get three and that gives us the dental formula of this particular mammal then looking at uh, the absence of incisors and canines it is very clear that the mode of nutrition of this animal is herbivorous we say herbivorous we move down to question number eight question number eight the reaction represented by equation below occurs in the body we have hydrogen peroxide which is very poisonous being converted to oxygen and water the first part is where we are supposed to name enzyme z and therefore we can include that enzyme here and the enzyme that converts the harmful hydrogen peroxide into harmless oxygen and water is known as catalase enzyme this is catalase catalase enzyme name the organ in the human body where this reaction takes place this reaction is actually taking place in the liver remember one of the functions of the liver is detoxification c state the biological importance of the reaction above is that uh, 
it helps in the breakdown breakdown of harmful of hydrogen peroxide into harmless into harmless products and in this case the products we are talking about are uh, water and oxygen question number nine state how each of the following cells below are specialized to carry out their functions we have the pulsate cell remember this one has numerous chloroplasts numerous chloroplasts and of course the numerous chloroplasts which trap sunlight for photosynthesis then of course the sperm cell has the long tail that will always help us or propel it towards the ovum we have also the head that has acrosome and we know the acrosome contains lytic cells we as well have uh, what we call the large nucleus that contains the genetic material or what we call DNA and of course it has what we call numerous we have what we call numerous mitochondria for energy production then we move to question number 10 question number 10 state the functions of each of the following organelles roman one we have ribosomes ribosomes form sites they form sites for protein synthesis we have golgi apparatus also known as golic bodies their function is packaging 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 and the transportation and the transportation of what we call glycoproteins so thank you for watching and welcome to our discussions we are going to move on remember to subscribe and also help us to share the link